right, I wanna talk a little bit about energy transference. So that you can understand again, what this, what the mechanism of transferring energy is, because of, again, that's very much why we have incarnated on earth is to understand the manipulation of energy or how to guide our own energy and also how to interact with other energies around us. And so in this video, I'm going to be discussing the, con the concept of energy transference. So I have little Miss Riley with me here and she is a great example of very peaceful, loving energy transference, okay? So anytime that we're in any environment or around any other individuals, we are constantly sharing and transferring information about the environment and from ourselves to other individuals simultaneously. And why this is important is because this energy affects how powerful we are as a bee. So if we're in an environment that is extremely chaotic and extremely draining, then our ability to create and evolve and move into higher expressions and states of consciousness are greatly decreased. And it keeps us very stuck in this lower vibrational energy field or energy fields, because again, there's so many of them. And when we are around higher vibrational environments, people, life forms, we are going to, by the very mechanism of energy transference, we are going to be ascending or at least in resonance with those environments or biological beings. So why I'm using Riley as an example, okay? Her energy is very, very calm. She's, again, very, very, a very innocent, beautiful expression of a life form. She's not demanding. She's not talking to me. She's just being. She has no egoic, um, distortion to her. I mean, there's definitely times where she's barking at squirrels and things like that, but 95 or 97% of the time, she's in a very calm, passive, beautiful emanation of her, of her energy field. And you'll, you, I mean, this has been proven with even people that are, you know, with chronic illnesses, terminal illnesses, people that have mental health problems, you put an animal next to them and the energy transference is one of peace and calmness to their to their entire being so there is a direct energy transference that is happening between the animal and the human that is experiencing the expressional output of that animal okay and and I can just feel that emanating from her I can just feel her energy field and how calm and warm and non there there's nothing she wants from me there's there's no pull from my own energy source and and never even you know even when she's barking it's never like that and so again a lot of the different animals that human beings have taken the time to integrate into our everyday life whether that is from you know from cats dogs horses you know any any animals, birds that we're that we are keeping as quote unquote pets have this effect on us, this very calming effect, and the, the emanation of their energy field helps to calm us. Okay, and that's that's a form of energy transference. Um, people are using horse therapies, you know, uh, lots of different things like that that are starting to really be utilized as legitimate ways of curing things like addictions and mental illness. And it works through the mechanism of this energy transference, this calm energy transference from one being to another. In terms of energy transference 
between human beings? How does this work? And how can we start to understand it so that we can safeguard our energy in interpersonal connections? So anytime another being or person, and I'm just gonna say human being, wants something specifically from you, and they're trying to draw that energy from you because they have a desire to be around you or they want so they want something from your energy field from you. This is a form of energy transference that can be very depleting and it can be very overwhelming to the individual. And again, because a lot of times when we are experiencing these kind of interactions, we will feel a lot of tiredness from this tugging on our energy field. It's that, you know, it's energy transference without really us as the individual authorizing it is the best word. It's, it's unauthorized energy transference. And we see this, you know, in all types of interpersonal relationships. So let's say you are a parent. There's lots of times where your children will be very demanding of your energy, of your energy field, and it's kind of not authorized. It's just an expectation that they want your energy, they need your energy because you are the parent. And to some degree, yes, when you're parenting, that's correct, but you also have to create a structure, barriers and boundaries and rules within a household so that you don't get bombarded or over exhausted by too many demands, okay? And I'm not gonna get into parenting styles. I don't personally have kids. I have you know, children that come to my school, older children, and there's boundaries that we put in place you know, to make everything work. But yes, this isn't a lesson on parenting. This is a lesson on energy transference. But there's also other circumstances. So your family, your immediate family, you can have family members that require or pull on your energy in a very overbearing way. And again, this is an example of this negative energy transference or them taking too much or demanding too much of you. And energy transference in terms of human being to human being is best when it's equal and it is um, unconditionally not expect, no, no, like there's no expect, blah, blah. sorry. There's no expectation in the energy transference. Essentially, it's just unconditionally loving energy from both. And what does that mean in, in terms of its highest expression is that no one needs anything from the other. They are in full understanding in terms of the energy transfer, but, and if we're just talking, two people, two individuals, that whenever one of them has hit their max com their maximum capacity or they need to withdraw their energy, that it is just given. It's just a given. It's just okay and there's no guilt, there's no frustration, there's no bitterness because that other person is pulling back their energy. The energy exchange in its most beautiful form should energize, like both parties should be giving more energy to the other. So when you are in that other person's energy field, in terms of energy transference, when you are in a very unconditional loving relationship, platonic or non-platonic, you should feel an emanation of energy you should be energized by being with that person. And when you need to move away and go into the solitude and reconstitute your soul's blueprint or the, its, its own energy needs, you should be able to withdraw without much being said. And again, that is where we can get to a point of this equilibrium of energy transfer in a way that is a very healthy, sustaining, way for two individuals to exist. And, a, and a, 
yeah, basically a very depleting way that energy transfer can work. So if you have any interpersonal relationships, platonic or you know romantic, whatever they are, and that other person will not allow you to disengage or if they are, are taking in an imbalanced way from your energy field, you will immediately feel and experience that energy transfer in a negative way. So you will start to feel tired around this person. You will start to feel exhausted by their demands and sometimes their verbal demands and sometimes their energetic demands. So sometimes it is what they are thinking or the way that they are manipulating the situation and you will just simply feel a tug on your energy centers in a form of transference that that energy is being transferred away from you and that's why you're feeling a depletion in energy and why you're feeling uh, fatigued or tired and this is a toxic kind of energy transference because it's one taking from the other in an imbalanced way that leaves the other depleted tired and fatigued so these are the types of relationships that you really want to start paying attention to and part of the lesson of earth is to start to watch for these things and watch which individuals emanate a balanced energy transference and which individuals do not or they have not learned to they have not learned to steal your energy it's it's kind of like a way of bypassing or not doing their own work okay because sometimes when you have a very very high vibration individuals that have really not done a lot of their own work will be pulled or magnetized towards you because they feel the output of your high vibration but it it's a way of them sort of spiritually bypassing their own shadow work or their own karmic work or whatever it is that they're here to do and fix within their own soul's emanation and they gravitate towards you great that's fine and that's part of what you're here to do when you're vibrating at a very high level and when you are sending out a lot of love and kindness and gentleness but it can be very draining if you are interacting with individuals that have no desire to, to do their own work or do their own seeking and again you have to watch out in terms of the energy transference now what about group dynamics so how does energy transference work within a social setting or group dynamics it gets a little bit more chaotic the more individuals you add so especially if you're in a classroom setting or a business setting and you are in communication and in direct contact with multiple different frequencies because remember each and every being so whether it's a human being or an animal being or a plant nature it has its own vibrational resonance or expression okay it has a field and so you are always through the connection the connectedness the interconnectedness of our energy field you are always exchanging this energy nonverbal energy thought forms also quantum energy electromagnetic energy there's a multitude of different energies which is essentially information transfer that is going on around you at all times and when you get in larger and larger groups it's more difficult for your auric field to sort out all of the different frequencies around it now there is one caveat to that or one sort of I would say other example of that okay which would be nature okay when you're out in nature you definitely have a lot of different frequencies in terms of the natural world however the way that nature is designed is to be life-giving so the energies that you will receive from all natural life will be filling you up it will be returning you to balance so going into nature is a great way to balance core energy field because nature doesn't want anything from you nature is out giving whether it's the trees or the grass or the sun or the 
birds flying above you, the sounds of nature, the sounds of a stream, okay? None of nature wants anything from you other than for you to experience its beauty. So in that way, the energy transference is very uplifting. It's very high vibrational and it's very healing. But when we're talking about energy transference with human beings, I'm sure that you have experienced, you know, going into a restaurant where you can just feel the chaos emanating from your surrounding environment. You know, some people will say that it's toxicity, you know, that it's a toxic environment that they may walk into. I tend to say that it's a chaotic environment. There's just very, a very large disparity or there's a lot of different emanations of different vibrations coming from the beings that are all over the map there might be some that are high some that are extremely low usually if you're going to you know a restaurant or bar there's a lot of low vibrational energy there if people are drinking and, and whatnot right so you're going to experience that and especially if you have a very clean auric field it's going to feel overwhelming and the energy transference that you're going to be getting from these situations will undoubtedly lower your energy field and make you feel tired and fatigued and that's all often why when you go into a club or a restaurant or a situation where there's a lot of people why people drink okay they do it to lower their vibration they do it because all of the chaos around them is overwhelming to their system in terms of energy transference. So they use something like alcohol as a buffer to this because they don't experience consciously the energy transfer as acutely, as viscerally if they've had a drink. And that alcohol will artificially, well not artificially, it lowers your vibration, your vibratory field, so you don't experience as much you are essentially numb to what you're experiencing. And that's why when we get into a state of drunkness or if we're taking some sort of recreational drugs or whatever it is, our consciousness is very much not aware of what we're doing. And that's why you find people doing really kind of bizarre things when they are drunk, when they're high, when they're in these environments. They're not, they're not actually expressing as themselves. And circling back to energy transference. Okay, so when you have numbed your conscious mind to the type of energy transference that's going on, okay, that's okay for a temporary fix to an immediate situation. But the problem with that is, is that because you are unaware of the like very, very poignant energy transfer that's going on between you and all of these other human beings, and then if as you continue to numb yourself to it and potentially take drugs and lower and lower and lower yourself into a vibrational state that is very very low vibrational you are going to have an extreme amount of energy transference of your core soul frequency being taken and that's also why you feel this energy drain when you come when you start to kind of come out of that mental fog that alcohol and drugs create and you just feel low you feel low because your your vibration is low you've you've transferred a lot of very very chaotic energy into your auric field and you have to clear that out and yes it's in your cells it's 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 very three-dimensional as well so it's going to affect your brain health it's going to affect all of those different things your hydration levels there's there's layers and layers of things that are going on in terms of your actual body system but i'm talking about energy transference and in terms of the energy transference you've now transferred a ton of low vibrational energy into your field and you have to work that out and you have to cleanse that out and sometimes it can take days even weeks to get yourself to that high point you were before you went into that chaotic environment 